was such a fantastic experience, I thought I'd come back. Oh, the staff have been fantastic. They're friendly, they look after you. You just feel like you're instantly at home, and the same would probably go for the staff. It's a superlative chalet. TV correspondent and presenter, but today I'm having one of the best days skiing of my life. I'm close to Val d'Isère and I've discovered a very special place over the last few years. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you about it, where you can find it, something about the staff there, the food, the drink, and also the people like me who choose to ski there. But uh, if you don't mind for the moment, I'm just going to enjoy this fantastic snow. And this is the place. Chalet Rassel lies on the doorstep of the world-class ski resort of Val d'Isère, but it's also surrounded by a host of other ski areas. More about that in a moment. One of the real attractions for busy people like me is just how well they look after you from the moment you arrive with an airport transfer to the door. If you don't have your own equipment, there's an in-house ski and boot service. A nice wide tip on them, so you should be able to go off piece nicely. But then still got and even if waist. you do have your own skis, they'll keep them waxed and sharpened for you, and the equipment is top of the range. The interior of the building, well, it's exactly how you want a chalet to look and feel. And this is because it's converted from an historic house and barn, containing many of the original features. And here's a big bonus when it comes to getting to the slopes in good time in the morning. They have numerous vehicles. They transport you and your gear and park right next to the lifts. So if, like me, you're a mad keen skier, you can catch the first one up. Or, if you prefer to have a lie-in, you can catch a later transfer. And from here, we can get over to Italy and it's one of the areas that really opens up the, the yeah. sort of experience, so to speak. Very much so, and I think it, it's special because so few people know about it. Owner Ben Farley lives next to the chalet with his family. And a crucial point here, both he and his staff ski with you every day. They're not mountain guides, and you can ski on your own if you want, but they know the mountains like the back of their hands, and they can get you round the slopes really quickly. We take people of all standards. Uh, absolute beginners need to have lessons. Um, those that want to ski off piece need to go with a guide. But we, we cater for everyone in between, um, and most of our clients are, are, are intermediates who want to cover ground, who, who are gaining experience um, and travelling. You know, we, we, we take people on a, on a circuit, on a route that gives them the best snow and the best piece for their ability. It's so easy, everything is done for you from kind of the hiring of the skis, the chalet is obviously absolutely fantastic, staff are really, really friendly and being able to go to a different resort depending on the conditions is I think a kind of unique selling point I guess of the chalets and that on some days it's really great to go to saint Foire, which is local and very small and other days when it's fantastic conditions you can go to Val d'Isère or Teen or Les Arcs so there's lots of different places you can go and that, that really marks it out I think. Can you pass for you? Yes. Thank you. My boyfriend and I have come as a couple and we are drastically different in skiability. He learned from a, uh, for, as a, from a child so he's therefore great, does off-piste and I learned in the, my mid-twenties, which is uh, not the age to learn. And uh, what this chalet brings is the fact that you can divide. Uh, and I can go at my own pace and he can go off and do crazy things. And I can just enjoy um, being guided down the mountain in a safe way and in, actually enjoy it rather than always playing catch up. Accommodation is fantastic. You just feel like you're instantly at home. And the same would probably go for the staff. You just feel you have a lot in common with them. They're here because they love skiing, right? And you love skiing, that's why you're there. And, and so immediately there's a sort of a bond. Um, in terms of being looked after, they're fantastic. They're very attentive. We can work with all kinds of groups. So you'll, take a, you'll have a corporate group who'll take the whole chalet and we will design 
things to suit them. They might have a seminar here, they might have breakfast at 7.30 in the morning, a seminar till 10.30 and then go off skiing. Uh, the following week there's parties of, made up of different groups. And then we stick them in the top. Do you already know That's how it. to play? He's played this before. The week after that it's kids uh, half term for example. Uh, it's a very different experience for us. We'll do an early dinner for the children. We offer flexible booking. You don't have to come from Sunday to Sunday, uh, except during peak periods. Lots of times, for instance, in January or, or March, we have weeks where people come just for a few days here and there. Um, they time it based on the conditions. They know, or we'll let them know, that the snow's really good right now. We've got high pressure. We're gonna have six sunny days in a row quick get on a plane and get out here. And when you've had a great morning skiing and you want to relax or just have a cup of coffee, they can find you a snack bar or a simple meal or a five-star Michelin-style restaurant. They know the owners, they can get you in and it all makes it a lot easier. The staff like sharing their, their experience, their knowledge of the mountains and so they want to take the guests out and say look we've got this great restaurant, you'll never find it on your own, let us take you. You know, we'll show you, show you around the resort, introduce you to the best slopes, the, the lifts that don't have queues, and the best restaurants. Not necessarily the most expensive restaurant, but the, the restaurant that gives the, the best flavor of, of that, that resort. There's a whole range of, uh, of options, um, and we, we know it. And one of the fantastic facilities after a hard day skiing is, they've got a wonderful sauna. <laughs> Excuse me, no thank you. But to be honest, the best restaurant you'll find in the region is in the chalet itself. And here I'm really not exaggerating. The chefs that are employed there have worked in top restaurants and top hotels. They cook fresh food every afternoon and evening in a beautiful open kitchen. Does anybody want champagne? Yes, please. There's no holding back on the drinks either. Champagne is served each evening after the skiing. There's gin and tonic or shorts, as many as you want. And the wines are personally chosen by Ben himself. The four main course tonight, we have guinea fowl. That's with a Jerusalem artichoke puree. It's a superlative chalet. I mean, not, not only is it you know, very, very well appointed and extremely comfortable. Um, but what is also excellent is just the quality of the cuisine, wine. I mean, everything is just laid on. And I think that's what's nice. And it's also an easy atmosphere. You know, you, you, if you ask something to, for something to be done, uh, somehow it, it just happens. And so I, I think that's where Ben has really created some magic. In terms of guests, as people from all walks of life, I couldn't say they come from one particular demographic. They, they have one thing in common though, they love, they love skiing, uh, they love good food and they love good service and that's what we're aiming to provide. Um, over the years the best thing about this experience has been the fact that guests come back and they become friends and you share experiences with them, you, you, you ski with them, you have lunch with them perhaps. Um, they see us working, we're a young, fun company doing a good job and, and they gravitate towards us and uh, that's become the highlight for me of, of working in this industry.